Hey guys, it's Ed again. Um, just thought I'd bring you down for a quick little video. Uh, I took about an hour yesterday and I uh, pulled the power head off <clears throat> what we will call the 64. It's easier to remember that way. The 64 is the big twin 40 horse manual shift. Um, I figured I had nothing to lose because this is the one with the bad block has the bad cylinders so um, it would be a good learning uh, procedure to take it apart and uh, I mean the cylinders are you can feel some scoring some pretty decent scoring actually so that cylinder there so I was able to figure out how to get it off without breaking anything which was uh, a good opportunity for me who has never worked on one of these to tear it apart so now what i've done is on the 63 this is the lark this is the one that i just picked up up in oswagachi new york um if you recall the bottom piston had or the bottom cylinder had low compression so i figured what the heck i mean i as well pull the head get or pull the head off it's quick it's only well, one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve, actually less than that, ten bolts, and uh, the head pops off. It will need a new head gasket, but that's no big deal. Um, everything looks pretty good. The cylinder feels phenomenal, perfect, actually. The only thing that's a little squirrely is this lower piston. Can you guys see that chunk taken out of the edge of that piston? And there's also a buildup right here like a chunk has been blown out so i'm thinking that could be part of the reason if the ring is in there bound up that could be part of the reason why this uh, the cylinders only got like 85 pounds while the top one had 100 pounds but um if i can rotate this without it getting crazy on me here rotator back I think that's about it um the cylinder again is perfect there is absolutely no scoring ridges nothing that thing feels as smooth as a baby's bottom so very happy with this cylinder uh top cylinder too you know i this motor i think it, it would run the way it is I'm, I'm convinced of it the guy when i bought it he said that they had it running so i i, I bet it ran but I don't like that piston, and uh, so I think what we're going to do, and here's, okay, let me get off base here. I think what um, the other thing I have with this is, if you notice, this doesn't have a shifter, um, because this is an electric solenoid shift motor, which is all great and wonderful. But uh, I did some looking on Facebook uh, on the Avenrood group, and they said that, uh, these things are uh, getting kind of hard to find parts for. But the old big twins, like this one, which is much simpler, it actually has a mechanical shifter right here. You can see it go down inside. The handle's right here, and that makes it go like this would be neutral. And there's a bar that connects to it that locks it in, and that's spring-loaded, but that goes on the power head. Um, pretty simple procedure, I believe. To put that on um, so yeah the only thing that might be is there was a little pin oh no it's right there see it guys see that pin that's on the other motor and that's where the spring goes and then that bolt hole right here you, you can't see but there's a bolt hole that's where it pivots and I have the pivot bolt for that to lock that in to make this uh, and it even has room in here it looks with this uh, old style fuel pump with the glass sediment bowl not sure i'm keeping this i may convert that over to something else um but at least it's all there and uh, i have a brand new fuel pump to put on it so if i want to do that put an inline filter in it i think we'd probably be fine um carburetor has got a different style choke set up it has a, um, a vacuum line here going into the bottom of the choke I'm not sure that's heat operated but it very well could be that's the way the old one was it worked off from heat this almost does look like it's vacuum though 
but I don't know. So if I don't like this, this carburetor looks super clean. You guys see that? The carburetor looks extremely clean on the outside, almost like it's a brand new carburetor. <laughs> Maybe it is. Um, this thing also has the generator because this was an electric shift. You got to figure every time you were going forward, reverse, neutral, you were using electricity to uh, from your battery to uh, to shift. So you could do that quite often, you know, if you were maneuvering or getting into certain spots. So you would suck up a lot of power. Uh, the electric start does work on it. We were playing with that earlier, but it does have the generator, which I'm thinking about adding <clears throat> or, or leaving on in this case and just bringing this whole unit over. The recoil is having some issues. As you guys can see, it's not catching, but that doesn't scare me because we have another recoil uh, over there in the box uh, of, of those parts. So <laughs> I think between the two motors, we're going to be able to create uh, one motor. Uh, my thought process is, is that I know it's going to be scary, but I'm going to I'm going to go for it. I'm going to pull this apart. I, I like I said, I've got experience now from pulling that one apart, and uh, pull this one apart, and um, change the uh, bearings, or not the bearings, but the uh, uh, rings and the gaskets and all that stuff, and give it a quick hone, and we should be all set. So anyway, I just shot this on my phone and I just said that my battery's running low. So I just want to give a sh short video of what I'm thinking. I'm just checking prices right now, trying to find the best price on gaskets. I think I can get away with just this bottom gasket. That's torn. This one gave up the ghost. I need these two gaskets. These go to the manifold plates. One on each side. I need those two. And I need a head gasket. So, uh, and the rings. And uh, I should be able to, I'm thinking about reutilizing one of these pistons. Here's the piston I took out of that one. I know my phone decided to shut the light off, so it gets kind of dark. Um, here's the other piston. If you guys notice, there is some scuffing on it right about in that area. So, um, kind of deep actually. So I'm not sure something got in there and kind of scuffed on it. This was the good piston though. This was the one that was getting 125 pounds or 100 pounds or whatever it was. It was over 100 on the, on the 64, on the big twin. So I just pulled that piston out. That would be the upper cylinder. This is the upper, this is the upper cylinder. That was the good one. This was the bad one. So... So anyway, um, that's the plan. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing and commenting. And uh, keep watching. We'll get her. Bye.